<laughs> heavy stuff. Again, I'm jumping into this, but a part of you has to die in order for another part of you to grow. The parts that are living want to stay living. The part that will keep you behind or keep you back is the part that has to die. So recognizing our issues so growth can take place. It might be time to sacrifice what you selfishly love best so that you can become who you might become instead of staying who you are. Okay? Um, who am I? I am cruel. I can be hurtful. I can be self-deprecating. Our inside talk track is our absolute worst enemy to us. I can be self-medicating, food and drink, alcohol, drugs, social media, entertainment, movies, whatever. We can make that a drug, even though it's not necessarily a drug. Those are things that impede our growth. Again, I want to spend a lot of time on this, but I know we have just a very short time. So how do we start? We need to hum be humble enough to understand that if we can't order our own lives, we shouldn't be trying to order somebody else's. That's a very powerful statement. <coughs> this is the first step to growth because we have to st we have to get our shit together first. That does say what I thought it says. <laughs> right? We have to get our stuff together first before we can tell somebody else how to do theirs or how to live theirs. So start with yourself. Take care of yourself. Define who you are, and refine your personality. Okay. So what does it take? You should rightfully be afraid of taking risks and pursuing something meaningful. If it's not meaningful or if it's not big of a risk, then you're not afraid, okay? You should be even more afraid of staying though where you are at. Learn to bargain with the future. The successful among us delay gratification and, and we bargain and bargain with the future. You have to put into words what you think or desire. If you don't, you kill your unborn self. The self, the part of you that has not been born yet. Um, let's see, so how do we know when we can take on new things? When we get to the point where the focus of life is to find a mode of being that is so meaningful that the fact that life is suffering is no longer relevant, all right? The capacity for eternal transformation is the antidote to unbearable suffering and tragedy. Humility is the recognition of the personal insufficiency and willingness to learn. I have only one more slide. Humility is the recognition of the personal insufficiency and the willingness to learn. When we have the humility to learn and the humility to transcend suffering, then we know we can take on new adventures. So what's the conclusion? Your next adventure awaits the you that you have the humility to become. Hello. That's my idea.